Spirits, welcome back. Welcome back to another video. We actually have a real jewelry jar. Haven't seen a real jewelry jar in a long time. This is a nice little vase. It's got swirls and everything. <laughs> I couldn't resist this one at $25. This is a new place we found uh, here in Houston. Not a Goodwill. It doesn't even look like a thrift store. Actually, it looked like an outlet. So we were excited to go in there. They had some wonderful things. And we found jewelry and we found a jewelry jar. So we're going to open it up again. They had about three of them, but I didn't buy them all because I just, you know, I, it didn't look that exciting, but I did want to give them a chance. So I decided to go ahead and, and splurge on a $25 jar. So thank you guys for being here. I do appreciate it. Please be sure and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Be sure and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss another video. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up. Even if you don't like it, hit the thumbs up. All right, well, let's see what's in it. We're going to dump it out here. Oh, we're gonna show you the rings of the day because everyone always asks. I am wearing a beautiful ring that has, it's made of amber and garnets and a Lucite Betsy Johnson vintage leopard print. I love it, it's super long and gorgeous. And it has these prongs set with rhinestones. It's a copper base. It's losing its color, but I love it anyway. Let's start with the beads. Shall we pour it out or just pull out? Let's pull out. We rarely pull out. We always just pour it. Okay, this is broken. Does not have the proper ring on it. And here's our watch. This is by nobody very worn out oh this is pretty finally <laughs> this is pretty i've seen these little porcelain crafty pendants before this one is really pretty nice kind of a heart shape kind of not okay another heart shape i like this this is a cloisonne with a hummingbird that's pretty some little post earrings not bad another watch this one's cute is this is no this is a casio cool casio is a nice watch to get i like the colorful face on it too and i love white watches that is cute it's not running right now but we shall see if we can't get it to run and here's an interesting little bracelet. I like the link on that. Does anybody know what they call this link? I run into it a lot and I forget, but it is nice. Looks like silver tone. Looks like a vintage box clasp type. We don't see any mark on it. But it does appear to be silver. Yeah, I should have brought a magnet. I don't even know where I leave my magnets. I haven't in. used them in forever. I don't know why. I don't know why. Because they get in my way and they grab all of my jewelry. One that's like so strong. MRI magnet. It's ridiculous. It grabs everything. But now I can't find it. Okay, here's a little vintage locket. Looks like the stone fell off of it. I think it had a stone in there. It's just on a string. We have a... An awareness support the troops I guess support America there and a little that's cute it's kind of a little stick pen a little flower okay got a lot of little cheap jewelry and junk here a little American flag a kid's ring that's kind of cute put that in a kid's lot is this about I'm curious about that snake looking thing in there here's a copper chain and it appears to be real copper. Maybe it's an anklet. It's awfully big. Yeah, this is like a nine. It's probably some kind of an anklet. All right, let's pour out a little bit now. Oh, I see some crystals. I you can never judge these these jars and bags as much as you try you just never know what's inside in the middle there sometimes there's interesting stuff sometimes 
And I don't even look at them that much anymore. I just grab them if there's any, honestly. I really do. Uh, because they're hard to find nowadays. You don't see them everywhere, especially in other... Oh, there's a copper cost. That's cute. Especially at other thrift stores where I've never bought, so I'm not really knowing what to expect. I love this. This is a nice thick copper cuff. That's a good one to sleep on. <laughs> it looks good too. I love this. This is really nice and thick. Attractive and functional. Okay, here we have a little charm with a jump ring on it. I guess you could put that on a bracelet or a necklace. I have a kid's bracelet. It says sisters. We have a little rhinestone ring that's missing some rhinestones. Look at this, a clip-on Santa. Wow, this must be, oh, and there's a match. That is so cool. These are really fun for kids that, um, for the kids lots and kids that don't have their ears pierced. Because they can put earrings on for a little while. Here's a best friend charm. Okay. These are cute. Oh, these are really cute. Look at these. I hope they have a, a, a match. These are those micro mosaic and they are screw back twist back look at that they're so pretty i hope we have a match to it though here yes oh my goodness awesome those are beautiful look at that work in there mm, that's worth 25 right there in my eyes all right here's a little band it looks like a sterling band i don't know could be maybe not That'll make a nice little mid ring. Mm -hmm. There it goes. Yeah, that'll make a nice little mid ring. I don't know if it's sterling or not. I love bands. I don't like to wear elaborate rings for the middle ring. For the middle. All right. I don't know. I think this is uh, genuine abalone, but it looks like it's on silver tone. That's pretty. Some kind of flower, I guess. Well, that's an interesting earring too. That almost looks like a sacred heart, some kind of religious symbol or something. I don't think it is, but that's kind of what it looks like to me. Is this Girl Scouts? No, it says, Good God Made the Irish. Oh, I love that. That is so cool. And some present, another little charm. Here is a ring. Looks like just a base metal of sorts. Oh, we have a sterling. Sterling in the house. Yes. Nice little twist. All right. Well, if we get some sterling in here, we're happy. You know, we're going back for more. Right? This is this is on the larger side, too. Looks like it says Italy 925 on it. So that's cool. It is definitely a larger one. It's probably an anklet. That is pretty. And it's got that twist diamond cutting on it. So lots of sparkle on that. Okay. What is this? Rodeo? Aggies. Utah State University. They're Aggies too? Wow. I didn't know that. I thought only a and Texas A&M were Aggies. But we learn something every day. And then this one says, I love the Irish. Oh my goodness. Well, I'll have to put that together as a lot. Ring. Cute. Let's see what's in this bag. Maybe some sterling. Hey, I'm glad they put it separate too, huh? No, it's not. It's just silver. Tell what's with the bag. Why did you separate it like that? Make me get all anxious about it. Wow. Silver tone, very worn. Got some amethyst, a little strand of amethyst. That's pretty. All different shades of amethyst, too. I guess someone could craft with that. There's even some green in here. Chrysolite. That'll go in my little bowl of gemstones in the room, in the living room. And just a little crafter piece. Just a heart that's very worn out. 
this is nice. Okay. This crystal one is pretty. Looks like a double strand too. Oh, that's really nice. I need to wear one of these. I keep saying they're so nice and I find them at thrift stores and I buy them and I don't wear them. <laughs> I don't wear them and I rarely pull them out for sale either and I don't know why. I think everybody loves them. I don't know, do you guys use these in crafting or anything? Do, do you wear them at all? Do you have any? This is so pretty. I like the different designs. And this is definitely a vintage one. I like the different designs of the cuts on here. There's some bicone in here, some round ones. These are beautiful. They really are amazingly pretty and it even has a nice drop yeah those are really pretty okay have some more junky little beads these aren't even good for a craft lot they are worn out another watch Geneva of course always Geneva some beads I like the findings on that. That is so interesting. I think I'll put that on a crafter lot. Just for those findings. Okay, let me, let me pull the rest of this out if I can. That's the trouble with some of these jars. They get a little backlogged in that curvy area. Alright. Let me see if I can pull this out. might be broken yeah this is broken and it has a really interesting set of findings here it looks like they're copper or brass so I'm just gonna put this in a crafter lot and then we have it what is this oh these are interesting these little medallions this looks a little I don't know if it's crooked or what you see a little dent on that? I see a little dent. But I like the chain. There is no maker on it. Chain is really cool. And what else? Here was another one with a heart, I think. No, this is just a chain. This is a nice chain. This looks like the quality of a Monet or something. And this one does not have wear. So this is nice. I can put one of my vintage medallions on here or pendants. Always nice to have a thick gold chain. Gold chains are not that easy to find either. See a lot of silver, but the gold tone a little harder, and they tend to show their wear quicker as well. Oh, this is pretty. This is a little pearl thing. Well, this one even has an extender here. Here's a look at that's pretty. That's a nice one. See what else is here? We've got some thin little tin bangles. This is a cute bangle in the white. I like that. This is an Alex and Annie, I believe, and it's in good condition, which rarely happens. So that's a pretty one. I cannot believe it's in good condition. They are rarely in good condition. And with the beads, I like them. I have a few that, again, this is not my favorite bracelet. I don't really get the adjustable thing going on. And... Um, but I like when they have the beads, and many of them have uh, semi-precious stones on their beads. I'll put that in a kid lot. I think they'll enjoy that. And then that's a nice chain. Is that sterling? It looks like it. A little curb chain looks very interesting. Let me see. Okay, we have a watch. This is a pretty one. It's got a nice facet face. Looks like it's worn out though, and I can't tell what it says. Is it juicy? Luger? Luger, is that a gun? Yeah, it says Luger. It does. Okay, Luger. It's a little worn out though. But I really like that little faceted face. Oh, this is cute. So far we do have Sterling. We have some interesting bangles and things. We had an Alex and Annie. We've got the cutest little bow. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put that in that child's lot too. She's going to get some good stuff. 
How cute is that? It's got kind of a Mickey. I mean, who is that? Check Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse kind of a vibe. So nice. It's got a little wear, but the rhinestones are there. That's what matters, right? Oh, oh gosh! I just sold some earrings like this, and they said West Germany on them. And that looks just like it. This says something too, but it actually looks like it says Sarah or something. Let me see. This is cool. We're going to have to go to the thrift store today. Okay, what is this? It's tangled in here. All right, let's see what this beautiful cameo says on the back. It looks very much like it. Actually, there's a little bit more contrast on the earrings. This looks almost like the same material for the cameo as for the background. The other one looked a little bit different. Avon, I think. No, Florenza. Copyright Florenza. I like the chain on it, too. I love these antique. This chain looks like something from 1928 jewelry. It's a barrel clasp. Super pretty. This is cute. Yeah, I like that. I love cameos. Very cool. Now, this chain looks interesting. It looks a little bit like sterling, but maybe it's stainless nothing on it no it's just a curb chain very nice condition though so that's nice to have as well and what is this oh this is some kind of weird pendant with rhinestones and lots of wear very short and one missing rhinestone okay we got some more bangles we have a pretty gold one that's cute Silver one, very tinny. You have a gold cross on a cord. Another watch, carriage by Timex. Good looking watch. Cute bracelet, a little small, but cute. And let me see. Looks like we have single earrings here. I don't think I'm going to save these for matching. I'm just going to put them in a crafter lot because I only bought one jar from that particular store that day. Here's another white bangle. It's crooked though. And here's a vintage watch. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I love the, the little stretch bracelet on that. That is really cool. I've never seen a stretch bracelet like that. And that's a, the teeniest of faces. And that is a Hellsbro. Hellbros. Hellbros. It's probably a wind up. Let me see if it winds up. It does indeed. Can you hear it? And ticking. It's ticking. I love it. I have a collection of these. I don't know why. I do wear a couple of them. I have a couple of real gold ones that I found in a jar, and I wear them for jewelry. I can wear. I <laughs> I can't hardly see the time, but I like the way they look, so I do wear those. These are pretty little drop earrings. Very cute. And another stretch. Yeah, I think this is one I already found. Um, this is heavy. This little thing is heavy. I don't know how this goes. It's super long. I think it's broken. These are nice beads, though. Very heavy. I love the caged beads. Oh, wait a minute. There's two now. Or they broke apart. Yeah. Okay, this is one by itself. All right, so here's one, and this one is broken, and this one is lightweight. That's this one here. I like the cage beads on that. This one's broken as well, but it's got very nice heavy pearl beads of different sizes. So this one will go in my bead lot. It's got those silvery pearls. 
is about, but it's a little statement piece. And I don't see a name on it. It's pretty. Yeah, I don't see a name on this one. Looks like something Monet or Napier would do, but it's very pretty. Another bangle. This one says, aim high, dream high. Oh, that's cute. And it's got a little high heel. I love that. That is so cute. It's a pretty bracelet. Looks like stainless, actually. It's nice and shiny. Aim high, dream high with the high heel there. Here's a little heart pendant. Silver tone. Double heart pendant there. We did get a match on these earrings. Tin, thin, tin. Another heart. This one has like a little crystal. Just put those in crafter lots. Oh, we got this rose. That's pretty. On a silver tone chain. Chain's a little worn. I put that in a crafter lot as well. And what is this? An arrowhead? Oh no, it's some kind of a Native American dancer or something. Ceremonial dance or something. And we have this one with the rhinestones and some gunmetal. That's pretty, but it's missing some stones. This is pretty. Look at this little cameo on there. I don't like this rope chain. I think I'll take it off of there. I think it would look better on another chain. Maybe an antique colored chain. But that's a pretty pendant. It's just got a little cameo kind of glued on there. It's pretty. Our kind of layered look there. Put that in a crafter. More tinny little bangle. It's cute, even though it's broken. Leather. Copper findings on that. A ring with the letter K on that. Lots of little broken knickknacks. And then this illusion thing was in there as well. And this is pretty worn out. I think I'm going to put this in the recycle bin. Thank you. I really like the Irish pins. <laughs> Those were cute. And the copper chain was nice. Oh, here's another one. Here's a lion head. He's cute. Or is it a bear? Oh, it's a lion. Oh, I like him. I may put him over here in my little collection since I am a Leo and I love lions anyway okay we got some amethyst it wasn't too bad for $25 I really love this vintage stuff that was worth the jar so I may be able to I wish I would have gotten a match to that earring that's really pretty that was worth the money there oh we did get two strands of amethyst I like that not bad. I thought was I thought I had shown you the same one. All right, so we got two strands of amethyst. So that's not bad. Nice, useful chain okay. like this. I may just put that on that chain. The sterling anklet, twenty five dollars. I'll have to say that was not a bad bag. I may just buy another one for twenty five. Oh, and this chain is nice too. Like the Casio, that's worth more than twenty five dollars every day. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up on your way out or in of any video. Don't forget to subscribe and come back soon for another jewelry video. Bye.